Okay guys, due to Osama Bin Laden's recent death, I decided uh, that this video would be necessary to tell everybody what the Muslim faith is all actually about to clear up any misunderstandings. Enjoy. Okay guys, T. Cabbage here, and I decided to share with you the theory of Muslim faith. A lot of you appear to be underknowledged of this theory of Muslim faith, so I am here to knowledge you. The theory of Muslim faith begins in the year 2008. It starts off with the man Muhammad Ali chilling in the desert. He's sipping on an extra large Mr. Pib he got from Five, Bu Five Guys Burger Shop. Um. He is totally stoned on weed, and his giraffe is absolutely hammered from all of the poontang he's been getting from all the strip bars they've been going to. Muhammad Ali looks up into the sky and says, Damn, my jeans are way too tight. God then descends down upon him a horse of epic proportion. Said horse begins singing a melody which flows through Muhammad Ali's ears, turning him into Shaquille O'Neal. The desert becomes a basketball court, and F-15s then, thinking it was Russians, bomb the area, and now we have war in the Middle East. And then, you know, Shaquille O'Neal was like, this ain't cool, man. So... He says, he says to President George W. Washington, he says, uh, please free my people. And he leads a group of people who escort the Jewish people out of Egypt. And they cut the ocean in half where they see lots of cool fish and the first sighting of a giant squid. Also, a narwhal. There was a family of them, and it was quite nice. But that was only a minor part of the scripture. The scripture of Muslim faith continues to go on, saying that all computer mouses must contain at least three pieces of bacon in Muslim faith-built computers, compatible with Muslim faith OS 1.4. Um, peanut butter. Peanut butter, oh, this, this is one that not many people know about. Peanut butter should be applied under the fingernails of all Muslim faith due to Shaquille O'Neal's love for Chris Angel brand playing cards. Yes. Um, this is all, this is all in the, uh, the, the Bible of Muslim faith, some call it, but, but it's really... It's really called the instruction manual for Tony Hawk's Underground 2 for PlayStation 2. Uh-huh. The, the, the first few chapters are kind of uh, more of an introductory to the faith, which is basically what I'm reading to you now. Uh, it, it, and, and now for some statistics, it is the largest faith on planet Earth and most of Mars, including Moon, and it has most people named Muhammad after Muhammad Ali, the original faith prophet of Muslim religion. And Shaquille O'Neal is now a famous basketball player who resides in Mes Me Mexico, which is a small town off the coast of China where he digs coal mines under the slavery of Filipinos, which have very heavy Irish accents. And that is indeed the theory of Muslim faith. Now, the, hot, the creation of the Hot Pocket is also quite relevant to the uh, theory of Muslim faith. It all began in uh, 88312 B.C., when Isaac Clark was placing a pencil in between a windowsill 
and a slice of pure American cheese. The resulting concoction became to be known as the common water wiener. A popular toy by children due to the fact that it is very hard to hold in one's hand without a tight, sturdy, firm grip. The Hot Pocket was later used by this same physical process to create a tube of pizza that was very easily manufactured by the digestive tract and indeed fatty to the human body. And this concludes my research on the theory of Muslim faith by T. Cabbage. Thank you for watching.